Boom, we're here with Hot Rod Anna, a local car enthusiast, brought in a sweet truck. Thanks for bringing this in, Anna. Absolutely. Man, tell me a little bit about this truck, the basics of what's going on here. Well, it's a 1987 Chevy S10. I put a stock bottom end six liter LS motor in it, and it has a S484 turbo. Um, we have a turbo 400 transmission, four nine inch, um, four link rear end. And I see, a, I see a collector plate on the back, which means you drive this on the streets too. Yes, absolutely. That's, and the track? Yes, it sees a lot of street miles. I don't see anything that looks stock in here. No, I don't think anything this, is stock. What kind of boost are we running in that one? Uh, generally, we're running about 20 to 24 pounds. Are you, are you letting the cat out of the bag with the power? Yeah, it, on the dyno, it made 1,075 on 24 pounds. Ooh! To the wheels. Ooh, I could get with that. So how long have you had this truck? Uh, a little over 10 years. 10 years. And it didn't look like this when you got it? It was black. <laughs> it was black. <laughs> so, so you've had it for 10 years. I mean, was this a slow process or did you do it all at once? Um, I drove it for the summer that I bought it. I bought it in March. Um, so I drove it for that summer and then come winter, we decided we were gonna swap it. You doing, um, you know, meets and things like that and then you go do your track day or what's the, what's the majority of the time that you use this? I would say this sees a lot of highway, just um, cruising. I like to cruise a lot. Um, I like to go to car shows. We've taken it to the track twice. It went to Cache at the Creek twice last year. So I'd like to make it to Rock Falls, uh, maybe, you know, Brainerd, but so far only cash at the Creek. Tell me about what's going on in here. So we have our racing seats, they're the Kirky um, racing seats, and we have a, obviously a full cage in here, and we redid the entire floor. A radar detector. Yeah. Nice touch. <laughs> what, what, uh, what are we running back here? Um, so I got the Nitto um, 555R2s. Is this your street and track tire? This is just the street tire. So when we're on the track, I have double beadlock billet specialties wheels. Um, and those we have the Mickey Thompson ET street. I don't know if you guys know this, but a collector plate in Minnesota, you just get a collector plate, you pay for it. 25 years old. Yep. Never have to buy tags again. You just do what you want. But she has a custom collector plate that says yeet. <laughs> yeah. It was just kind of a joke, but uh, a lot of people really like that part. From what I know, the yeet is kind of like the yee yee, the yaha, that type of thing. It's, uh, I believe the, the technical term is like um, throwing something at a high velocity. Like you're, you're yeeting this. That so would... the, the truck just kind of drives around and yeets all over the place. So. <laughs> it, it looks like it does. That is awesome. <laughs> what got you into cars? Like when did this happen? So when I met my husband, um, we were just, I mean, we were teenagers and he had gotten his first car and I spent a lot of hours just hanging out with him in the garage and it was kind of, I had to learn to love it if I wanted to hang out with him. So it, you know, I was handing him wrenches and screwdrivers and I actually didn't know what a pliers was when I met him. Now, is there an access to this, the rear and the bed and everything? Yeah, so we have a tool, um, you just, switch these clips and these come out. And then you said it was a four link in the rear? Yeah. And what, what, uh, what kind of suspension are you running in the back? So we have QA1 double adjustable shocks in the front and rear. Awesome. So Hot Rod and I see that you've got a aftermarket rear end. Yes. Looks pretty beefy, what's that? Um, so we got a whole four link rear end from Checkered Racing. Um, we got a Ford nine inch um, it has a strange center section and Mosier rear axles. Yeah, the gas tank was actually, I built it myself. Really? Yeah, 28 gallons. 28 gallons? Yeah. Yeah, I guess with the E85, it's probably not gonna last forever with a little tiny tank. Yeah, and this truck's all about the smiles per gallon. <laughs> now, Anna, I was looking behind the seat here. I see some tanks. And yes. those are interesting to me. What's, what are those tanks for? So they are CO, it's a CO2 tank. So we control our boost with the CO2. So not, not like an air shifter for the tranny or anything. It's a, it's a boost no. controller. Yep, it's a boost controller. 
What, it, what is your favorite part about just the car community in general? I just like the people. I like the different builds. You know, everybody's got their thing and everybody is just so passionate about it. And, you know, you're never gonna see the same thing. Always fun to see a, a different build and, and see what an individual will do with the canvas that they have. Exactly, yeah, I think it brings a lot of different types of people together. I still wanna go drive this thing. Yeah.